there's a tendency for us to bring on to our television and our radio programs climate skeptics, but contrarians mainly, you know, yeah. people that are saying that the sensitivity of climate is not as what is said in the IPCC report, that we have a much longer and a slower mm. change happening. What do you say to that? Well, they may be getting bought on television, but these are people who are, they are certainly the exception, they're not the norm that we are seeing across the scientific community. There are virtually no scientists, and even actually some of the skeptic, more skeptical scientists that disagree with the broad framing of the IPCC, that we have these carbon budgets. There's some disagreement about you know, exactly what the temperature rise may well be, but they are all recognising, all of them now recognise that, that it's human emissions that are increasing the temperature, um, and then the, the arguments are about exactly what temperature increase you get. So you know, maybe you haven't strange people been brought out on Irish television, but across the, the uh, science community, these people do not exist. Unfortunately, they are being listened to in Ireland, yeah. and yes. unfortunately, they're sending out a message that people want to hear. What they're saying is that we don't have a planetary emergency, and that we can wait and see. Yeah, they're just categorically wrong. Um, they talk about this thing called climate sensitivity, how, you know, how much temperature will go up by for a certain level of emissions. Even if we take their view of climate sensitivity, the problem is our emissions are going up so rapidly that we are going to be seeing um, huge changes in temperature, even if you take their view of, of the science. Um, but then you talk to most of the scientists and they think the thing called climate sensitivity is much higher. In other words, we're going to see even higher temperatures for the same level of, emi of emissions. So they are, they are the occasional voice in the wilderness that's been ridiculously over-optimistic. Um, and the, you know, the, the huge mainstream of science and you know, even al almost no one you come across really except the very low end of the climate sensitivity range almost everyone is talking about we are going to see significant increases in temperature if we're not serious about climate change um, the, the voluntary contributions that have been submitted to this event in Paris from the different countries around the globe are much more in line with a three and a half degree C temperature rise to four degree C temperature rise across the century. That will have devastating consequences for ecosystems, for how the bees pollinate our crops, for sea level rise, for food production around the globe, for droughts and for, for floods. You know, extreme weather situations made much worse. So we are aiming with the current voluntary contributions in COP here for a three and a half to four degrees C temperature rise, not the two degrees C that we should be aiming for.